Scientists utilizing the Large Hadron Collider discovered something ghost-like in a particle accelerator for the first time. What did they uncover? Why is it called a ghost? And should we be afraid of this specific ghost discovery? Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at how scientists at CERN just announced a terrifying new discovery. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. Did you know that while you're watching this video, billions of particles are passing through your body? There's a reason you do not feel these particles passing through you, and you're not harmed. The Large Hadron Collider has revealed what these particles are and other amazing details about them. A particle accelerator is used to collide with energetic particles to investigate the structure of the atomic nucleus. It was invented in the 1930s and has helped scientists understand many aspects of physics. It works by accelerating and increasing the energy of a beam of particles by generating electric fields that increase the particle's speed. Particles in a Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, two high-energy particle beams move in opposite directions in separate beam pipes or two tubes maintain at ultra-high vacuum before colliding. Electromagnets in the Large Hadron Collider are formed from coils of special electric cables in a superconducting condition. This ensures that they conduct electricity with minimal resistance. To achieve this, the LHC cools the magnets to minus 271.3 degrees Celsius, which is colder than outer space. The LHC employs hundreds of magnets of varying sizes to control the beams inside the accelerator. The LHC has a 27-kilometer ring buried underground at CERN. The decision to construct the Large Hadron Collider underground was made to save money because acquiring land on the surface was more expensive. The LHC cost $4.75 billion to build and took a decade. The majority of the funding came from European countries including Germany, the UK, France, and Spain. The energy consumption of the Large Hadron Collider is equivalent to one-third of the energy consumption of households in the canton of Geneva, but the investment has been worthwhile due to the numerous discoveries that have been attributed to the LHC, including the discovery of neutrinos, also known as ghost particles. Neutrinos are among the smallest particles ever detected. They were discovered using an LHC test run. The accomplishment was made possible by the collaboration of CERN's forward search experiments. What are neutrinos, and why are scientists so excited about them? Neutrinos are extremely elusive, which is why they're known as ghost particles, and they're formed by many nuclear processes. Neutrinos derive their name from the fact that among the four fundamental forces in the universe, they're the only ones without an electrical charge. The only two forces with neutrinos are in fact gravity and the weak force, which is responsible for the radioactive disintegration of atoms. Neutrinos have no mass and may move at the speed of light. Many neutrinos were formed in a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, and many are still being made now. Neutrinos originate from the nuclear hearts of stars within particle accelerators and atomic reactors. Scientists estimate neutrinos outnumber protons in the universe by a factor of a billion. This is due to their ability to remain neutral to most substances found in the universe, which explains why billions of neutrinos can pass through a square centimeter of your body without you noticing traversing or a transparent window. In contrast to other particles, neutrinos carry a plethora of information as they journey through the universe without being altered by their interactions with various materials. Our understanding of neutrinos improves our knowledge of the origin of the universe. Neutrinos were found as scientists attempted to unravel the mystery of a process known as beta decay. Beta decay seems to break two fundamental laws of physics or the law of energy conservation. They determined that the final structure of particles following beta decay appears to have somewhat insufficient energy and a proton. Stud Wolfgang Pauli suggested in 1930 that instead of traveling in the opposite direction as the electron, an additional particle may be departing the nucleus and bringing along the missing energy and momentum. Pauli himself was aware that the particle he had proposed could not be identified. He told a friend, I've done a terrible thing. I propose a particle that cannot be found. Our sun creates enormous quantities of neutrinos, and many of them end up assaulting the planet. Scientists developed several detectors to capture these neutrinos, but their tests could only detect one-third of the neutrinos they had projected. They attempted to resolve this issue while missing the fact that neutrinos come in three distinct flavors. In addition to the electron neutrino, there are also muon neutrinos and tau neutrinos. As neutrinos move through the distance between the sun and the earth, they oscillate between these three forms. Consequently, the early neutrino experiments experiments were only designed to look for a single neutrino that consistently lacked two-thirds of their total amount. The discovery at CERN was the first time neutrinos were detected inside the LHC or any particle accelerator. The ensuing excitement was due to the fact that the breakthrough opened a completely new window for scientists to investigate the 
subatomic world. The ability to detect neutrinos inside the LHC will help scientists better understand their role in the universe as previously stated. Physicists are currently building a larger version of the detector, which will be more sensitive in detecting neutrinos and will also be able to distinguish between the three types of neutrinos. However, the scientists are not stopping there. Now that they have produced a working detector, they're building an even larger one. A new detector will weigh over 1,090 kilograms, which is many times more than the 29 kilograms of the current version. With a new powerful detector and its prime location at CERN, we expect to record more than 10,000 neutrino interactions in subsequent runs of the experiment. The team is also working on an experiment to detect hypothetical dark photons, which physicists believe could be intimately connected to dark matter, a mysterious non-luminous substance believed to account for approximately 85% of the matter in the universe. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!